Hey guys, Zoltan here and in this video we will test the Voodoo Banshee 16 megabyte version again because we have already seen this card performing with the Pentium MMX 233 and this time we are using the six me uh, 600 megahertz Pentium 3 machine and uh, this time we can avoid all the bottlenecks basically and it's still the PCI card so let's quickly jump to the 3D Mark test results we have 3D, Ma 3D Mark uh, Max uh, 99 uh, 640 by 480 and instead the previous card with the MMX uh, which was around 1500 we've got almost 5000 which is uh, really great and with the MMX basically we had the similar uh, 1500 score with every resolution because it was really really bottlenecked so let's go up a little bit 800 by 600 and the score as gets uh, gets a bit lower just uh, below 4000 and other resolution here we have 10 24 by 768 uh, just another thousand uh, in minus and we have 1280 by 1024 and we're just uh, around 15,000 yeah it's the same score as with the MMX almost the same um, yeah it's a bit better still but it had the same score with 640 by 480 as well so it's really good and with 3 d 2000 we had scores uh, below 100 previously with uh, well I'm not pretty sure about these scores but we have well 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 where is the 640 by 480 two and a half thousand and uh, yeah 800 by 600 around 2000 uh, 1024 768 uh, 1300 and we got around 800 in the 1280 by 1024 and also with this card I was able to run 3D Mark 2001 as well uh, if I set the desktop resolution now uh, the color bits to 16 instead of 32 because this card is capable to do that as well it will actually install and and it runs greatly so uh, 863 3D marks in the lowest possible resolution and in the highest we have 444 just half of it and I should have other resolutions as well so yeah 1024 and 600 uh, basically a very nice uh, scaling here and yeah a um, really small difference between the 640 and the 800 so um, basically I'm using uh, always this resolution in the games this time because uh, 640 by 480 has this uh, flashing waving effect that I don't know how I could show it on my hand uh, but yeah you will see it in some menus uh, this time so I prefer 800 by 600 not a big drop in performance uh, actually and I had the issue with the MMX setup when I'm reading text it's it's gone so this time I can really beautifully uh, watch and read the text so it's not an issue I won't test LEGO races this time if the game runs um, it runs smoothly and everything is just uh, perfect but my times is crashing out I don't know why I've experienced this with any cards with the previous OS, with this OS as well, so um, I don't know, it's uh, 98 related or something else, but I just have issues with this game uh, all around the place. And I want to test the software quick, uh, we will go with GL quick because this time every game we run perfectly. And yeah, 3D Mark 99 and 2000 runs great, so I just won't show them they are perfect. Just a quick demo, maybe in 2001, and then we go uh, with the games. So 3D Mark 2001, 800 by 600 on the Voodoo Banshee. 
and we have fraps running here. This is a very demanding test compared to the other benchmark, uh, but still we have getting uh, an okay frame rate. Well, <laughs> it's okay for this benchmark with this old uh, Banshee cards. Uh, I think this was the last visually really impressive uh, 3D mark. After that, they are just used the uh, game demos basically, um, and they were nice, but yeah, not as great as this one. Maybe in 2003, we had this uh, plane crashing stuff and the cow and, and those something similar to, to this kind of look. Uh, it was great, but 2005 and 6 was horrible. Well, look at this, it's a really, really demanding test. The nature demo, basically. I wasn't able to run this on the TNT2 before, so... Well, DirectX 8.1, basically. And it runs on the Banshee, maybe it's not that old, as I remember. Uh, yeah, it's a wooded 2 and a half. Uh, just before the Voodoo 3, so yeah, it's it's a decent card. And the second part, I think, will be uh, a game demo. But let's just uh, watch it. So the loading shouldn't be that long, so let me just not cut this out this time yeah and it's continues just a quick look still yeah it's the the matrix kind of test or max playing or something Well, this uh, Banshee card is a, a really big improvement over the Sis and the Verge. Definitely. So, yeah, shooting is great. So, let's just move to, to some games now. Okay, this is insane. Uh, 800 by 600. I will set the same resolution in every game, so, yeah. And uh, the menu actually runs on 640 by 480 and I am absolutely sure now you can see this waving thing. Uh, but yeah, otherwise everything's set to the lowest cause uh, it's a demanding game and I hope Fraps is running. Yeah, that's perfect. So we will take a look, it's a demanding game. But at least it runs on the Voodoo Banshee. I hope I set to the arrow case this time. Or Three, maybe not. Two, Never mind. One, go. Nope, so go with we uh, WSD. Well, the goal here is to go to checkpoints uh, shown on the map with green. But only the first one will score. So if anyone goes before through the checkpoint for you, uh, you will get the wrong checkpoint message. So we have to be the first to beat this. And yeah, you can actually fall and uh, you have to go again. Yeah. So. Uh, the frame rate, uh, as you can see, is uh, around 30, 40. That would be a good indication to go higher with the settings, but no, it's not, because if I find some water or anything special effect, <laughs> uh, it will drop around the 20s. 
I wish to show if I wasn't full all the time. I no 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 I don't want to I'm already oh my god never mind. So usually just say area the swam thing. Uh yeah it can eat the frame rate much and also you can set the uh, effects here in the water so it could be worse but as you can see compared to this experience uh it's just great. Yeah, so if you're in this uh, racing stuff, let's uh, check Colin McRae Rally as well. Colin McRae Rally here, uh, 640 by 480 on the menu, so we have the vibration, but everything is set to the maximum possible, and in game it will be 800 by 600. And as you can see, we have fraps running and the menus also looking great. And it's fast, really, uh, as you were able to see. So just uh, jump into the game and quickly move around. Yep, to see the frame rate. I think it's not logged or anything. Uh, this time it goes with the errors. Never mind. Uh, we are at a stable 25 here. It's that horribly stable that I am thinking about some kind of racing but no it's not it's not a 25 so not sure really sometimes I think I've seen worse and better so but yeah everything looks great looks great and and it's stable and playable I wouldn't say it's only 25 frame car is looking great it's not that yellow black mass uh, that we have seen with the the watch card and the distant mountains which are just uh, textures uh, skybox and um, they are looking good yeah so this banshee card is not the strongest voodoo far from it but uh, it's really really good so I think a Woody 2 or two Woody 2s uh, would be faster definitely and the Woody 3 as well but it's, it's faster than the Woody 1 uh, uh, yeah maybe double the performance and it, it can go uh, high uh, with resolutions so that's great well I didn't want to make an extremely long video so let's just move to uh, another game but I um, actually enjoy playing this one, so yeah, but I can stop here. And this is Sin. Some of you suggested to test this game as well on the MMX, <laughs> but this time uh, I'm testing a Pentium 3, so let's uh, take a look at this game with this Benshee card right now in the Pentium 3 system, uh, running at 800 by 600 and everything at the maximum so this game uh, feels a little uh, stupid on the story side because all the dialogues and stuff but uh, it's extremely enjoyable the the fights uh, are, are great so so I like this game right now I already uh, threw the first level of uh, the bank uh, and I'm here in this tunnel and yeah, the gunfight looks great. Uh, it reminds me a bit of Duke Nukem, true, because your main protagonist uh, just uh, saying random stuff, which is which is nice. Yeah, this kind of things, but it's it's funny. So uh, yeah, I like this game. It's actually running on a Quake 2 engine. The, the many options are uh, really resembling the Quake 2 but the graphics is, uh, is a bit improved I guess the textures are nice uh, yeah some traps here possibly I'm really up because I just hear a sound of a bomb or something yeah uh, maybe I have to blow out myself Am I dead? Yeah, I'm definitely dead. Uh, just a quick 
stepping back. So I was right. <laughs> I was hearing a bomb ticking. That's fine. Uh, just uh, now this time, just look at the frame rates. Yeah, it was around 35 in the the bank as well. So that's fine. If you can do a headshot, they are dying instantly. So. Yeah, you can do that with the pistol as well. I had a pistol in the first level, and also I had my fists. Yeah, that looks good. And it's uh, actually affecting, effective. I am playing in the easy mode, so... Yeah, headshot. Um, yeah, here's the bombs. So I think I just have to run away. Ah, I'm trapped. So maybe I can pick up the bomb or uh, hide somewhere before the explosion, not sure, but I'm definitely play a little and find it out, so yeah, it runs great, that's fine. Should I wait for the explosion? No, I will not, I guess. Whoa, I'm already at 3 minutes, so yeah, I should leave before the bomb, but I won't. Okay, so that was a really, really nice, enjoyable game. So this is Turok, and for some reason I don't have fraps. Yeah, because it's running in the 3D FX mode now, so yeah, it's understandable. And also in this uh, 3D FX mode I have no options to set. Basically I can do nothing uh, in the options. And it's running at 640 by 480 only, because I can't set anything better. And the mouse movement is a kind of horrid, floaty, and the fall is really small, but it runs smooth. Uh, very smooth, no graphical glitches. Mm, I just don't like the fact of, uh, of the low resolution and this strange movement. Yeah, it's when I'm strafing left to right and just having this, well... I don't know, I don't like it, that's it. Um, I enjoy this game better on other platforms, maybe? Yeah, I think it wasn't that bad with the MMX. Uh, well, loadings and the performance is definitely better, but somehow I should set something with the mouse. Turning off some smoothing or on or whatever, but... And I also don't know how to save the game anymore, I, I used to remember that. But now I have no options to save, and even if I see... Uh, well, I have a load game and no save game, don't know why. Um, checkpoints are not working, because the game just displays checkpoints and uh, nothing. So, yeah, maybe I'm just... Confused <laughs> by a lot of testing these days. Uh, this is the third video I'm making uh, this weekend, so it started to be a bit too much, but I just love it. I can't even shoot anymore. But yeah, it's the end of the weekend, so back to work and everything, and I will start uploading one by one, do some editing in Auto Premiere, and yeah. It's kind of a drinking night, so <laughs> that's why I'm a bit of a uh, floaty, because I have my first and last beer tonight, so yeah. Okay, don't waste more time on on this game, because it's not that enjoyable without seeing the, the frame rates or having someone who can actually play this game as well. Uh, yeah, I'm just up here. Uh, YouTube 2004 and 3 is those games that are not running with uh, the Banshee card uh, basically at all. I've tried to set it to OpenGL as well, but no way, uh, no 3DFX render, and um, the Direct 3D renderer as well is, is not working. Uh, Unreal icons are funny because in the uh, Windows 9X, uh, basically they are just uh, switching every time and I'm installing a new driver, so... With the MMX you were able to see uh, 
RL 2004 icons and before 2003 icons and now we have the original RL icon so yet a frame rate is extremely great and we will go into the menu actually and as you can see it would be extremely smooth with the Banshee at least uh, I'm 640 by 480 because it's slowest uh, supported and if I do anything it will crash out so yeah to make sure I will restart and go to Unreal Gordon tournament but these two games are fun unfortunately unplayable they were with the Amex as well so yeah not much luck so far and yeah, basically that's it for for this part. Okay, so Unreal Gold with the Banshee, everything maxed out 800 by 600, and yeah, graphics is perfect, colors and lighting is just nice, and the frame rate as well above 30, so it's pretty pretty decent. I was playing the campaign a little bit, and yeah, basically the gameplay is uh, smooth as well. Uh, 36, really good, and it looks good. So, yeah, it's um, really enjoyable. And with the with the bungee card, I'm not sure this castle is in the game. I remember it was. Uh, yeah, I should play through Unreal again. It was a long, long time ago. I was playing this game with the GeForce uh, 256 back then, uh, with the Pentium 3, uh, uh, I guess uh, 667 megahertz one, uh, but yeah, I got the, the 512 megabyte RAM as well. And I think I was using uh, Windows ME. Well, basically it looks better than Windows 96 and uh, 98 and it's, uh, I don't know, somehow I just uh, love its feeling. Uh, Windows ME was, was a good memory for me, but as I was testing it again, it just crashes every time I do almost anything on the active desktop as well, uh, it's horrible. Um, yeah, so Windows 98 SE is the best if you're testing these kind of stuff. And I would go with uh, Windows 2000, the NT OS as well. Uh, if I wouldn't want to play Quick 1 and 2 and, and those related games, uh, I would definitely go with that OS. But yeah, for this age of games, uh, this, this OS is just perfect. Yeah, and I'm talking way too much. And this is Unreal Tournament. And let's just uh, watch this intro for this time. 800 by 600 max dollars. And as you can see, the frame rate is good. Basically the same as we have had with uh, Unreal. And it's really, um, well, the same as in-game. So, quick uh, jump to deck 16, favorite level, and just, yeah, quick look around. Yep, we are around 35, which is just a little bit lower. Uh, yeah, I won't be able to shoot and walk at the same time. Just, let's just move him and now I can use the mouse. And these are average uh, bots, so I shouldn't die every second, just every second. Second, second, yeah, so it's two kills. Uh, but the frame rate is around the 30s. So, yeah. Uh, everything runs, uh, looks and runs great, so uh, it's, it's a going order kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a long line. 32 frames, and well, we have the detailed textures this time, so I move closer, you can see them. Oh, I could move. 
yeah so these are the detailed textures actually they are just just great uh, I would be really curious about the Savage 4 uh, texture compression if it uh, runs better or I'm not sure if I could use those stuff with uh, with the Voodoo Banshee but so I have the Savage 4 here and I'm thinking about testing out uh, the texture compression here and in Unreal Gold as well but uh, yeah well, let's go to the quick side of things and see what uh, this Banshee can do there well, I wasn't expected, perhaps running with the 3D FX uh, GL Quake, but yeah, it's it's open GL, so not quite good to know. So it has perhaps running, so it's really working with open GL games, but uh, with this discard, it was uh, impossible to run. And in other games, direct 3D games as well, like uh, Colin McRae Rally. Um, perhaps was not working at all, so yep, 800 by 600 if I haven't mentioned yet and the frame rate is uh, well, decent between the 40s and the 60s, so yeah, it's good I also played a few levels now but uh, let's just switch to stay focus. Uh, the key is in the water, just jump down, yep. Uh, 70, uh, really great, it's a 75 hertz display, so... Well, extremely performant, so, Wudu Banshee. <laughs> and it's hot, it's, it's actually... Whoa! crazy hot, it makes my fingers red if you can see instantly uh, extremely hot, I, I will add a fan or, or something someone just telling me it's fine if it turns that hot so I'm not sure I've never seen a card like that and even the top is, oh gosh really, extremely hot so well, it's definitely not a good, not a good sign um, yeah, but it's running great. Well, I was expecting Quakey to use some kind of a glide mode, but uh, whatever the reason is, Fraps uh, is running on Quake 2 800 by 600, um, highest texture resolution. Wow, the frame rate is really decent. I run the Time demo one thing, and it displayed like uh, 42 frames, but I'm sure it, it's better. Yeah, I don't think Fraps is, is wrong or anything. It definitely can be this frame rate. So. Ah, so that's why we have 42, because explosions in the end, this is pretty low and it's showing the last kind of things on show, but... And the second uh, test here. And one game is remaining, quick 3. So we will go with that very very soon, just let me show you how it runs here. I like this uh, dynamic lighting stuff with the weapons learn to aim so many missed shots but yeah uh, multiplayer with this gun in quick trees uh, can be hard sometimes so it's hard to aim with the instant the weapon just if it's a demo please be perfect Oh, that was a mischance as well. So 
so my missed chance. Yeah. Hey, this is Quake 3 Arena and we are having fraps running without wasting. So that's great. And the options. I know the voodoo card cannot do 16 bits, but actually if you set it in 32, it looks better. So it's doing its uh, uh, 22 bit something, I guess, uh, magic on the deck. So whatever. Uh, so I kept everything uh, high as possible and I've seen check the frame rates how much it drops and so on so find the optimal solution so 800 by 600 and I decided to turn on the light maps uh, to vertex and lower the texture detail uh, these are, are helping to keep, keep the frame rate pretty high so only these two options turned down so without the light maps quickly doesn't look that great but uh, other than that it's uh, it's perfect and for such a competitive game I decided to to keep the frame rate uh, pretty high so this game has a limitation at 91 frames so it's really good if you can get around that and oh well, I can play with the keyboard only but I fall down here yeah so as you can see the frame rates are pretty decent uh, texture resolution could lower it by 30 or something so we can easily go around the 40s and light maps are are making it even worse light map is a big 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 uh, impact on it so yeah the frame is great but it's a test, not a gameplay. So let's just turn on the the light maps. Yep, and let's quickly reboot, and I will show you how much it uh, degrades the performance. And if you remember, everything at the lowest uh, with the MMX, uh, it was impossible to play. But yeah, as you can see, someone can. Uh, could accept it and uh, it looks great and with the low textures actually the frame rate isn't that bad on that level at least and the focus is pretty yeah that's better now and I'm dead basically dead man walking yeah pick up my pickup <laughs> yeah but I don't like quick on in the 30s or below the 30s so yeah well, I just uh, set the textures to too high as well and see what we have. Really good. Everything maxed out now on the Banshee and the Pantheon tree. So basically these two options affecting it. Geometry detail is not it. Oh, well, it looks, 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 looks just great. Well, somehow these textures are off compared to the GeForce. Uh, basically I think it's because it's still supporting only textures with the 256 resolution I'm uh, not sure they are not that bad so yeah I just remember a little little better on the texture side not sure these are good good resolution textures so maybe the Banshee can support a larger textures like uh, uh, 1248 uh, or something by 1248 or no 20 no 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 2048 yeah oh, whatever double of the 1024 boom dying can shoot and capture at the same time but as you can see well, it's still kind of playable 20 20 something and 60s here so but yeah Around the 90s, it just feels better, but it's still not bad. I want the breath space, uh, but I missed turning with the keyboard. It's so console-like. Well, consoles doesn't. Uh, I have a false memory. False memory here. Going down here. Maybe the Quick Tree Team Arena has a um, variation of this map. 
And that's why I remember going down there. Possibly. Or some online modification, I don't know, but I'm just missing something from here. Whatever that is. Uh, you could tell me, that would be great. Uh, yeah. Actually, I think I have three marina installed as well. Uh, I don't remember, I don't remember. Maybe I have the BT arena, team marina. Because this is my original Quake 3 installation from, from years before, like 10 years ago, and I have stuff set, so I'm not even sure what resolutions are here. Uh, yeah, it's just inherited it, so it is good. I, sorry. Uh, this part is quite, quite, quite long. Yeah, good. And single player, and ah, uh, this. No, this is a different map. This is well, and this too. Not sure, I'm, I'm just to remember a variation of their level. I think the three Marino Rebels are, are more demanding. I should go with the Aldo map of... Uh, I don't know how they called when you have to destroy the enemy base. I used that level on the Pentium 4 tests. Whoa, that video will be an hour long or something already. Uh, yeah, textures and everything makes these teamer in levels much more taxing. Only 17, 13. Whoa, well, but the textures also. Yeah, still blurry, but overall it looks good. Can't turn without a mouse. But yeah, definitely geometric detail and everything is uh, improved over Quick Tree. So guys, uh, that is the Banshee uh, with the Pentium 3 machine. And these were the games. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please like. If you have any comments, suggestions, anything uh, please share in the comment section and the next video will be about these different s3 cards um, these are both or or I don't know how you say both with three but it's a trio 3d 2x so the three of them will be tested the different revisions 3.1 3.3 and this is a diff 1.0 or something it, it's the biggest and uh, it will be in the next video so thanks again and bye bye